And this is genuinely serious engineering, right? Yeah. yeah. And this is a serious engineer. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's yanking me up the stairs, I can feel it. So we are now officially bailing. That's fantastic. Exoskeleton for people who have muscle weakness. I wasn't expecting this when I got up this morning. <laughs> Six and a half kilos in weight. Six and a half kilos. Yeah, exactly. So is the battery pack in here? Uh, yes, it's, it's actually replaceable. Or how do you say it? Like it's, um, yeah, you can interchangeable. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so the battery lasts about, I want to say, depending on the usage, up to like four hours. Oh. Right? Yeah, um, depends on, like what you will see in a minute, so we have also different levels of assistance and things like this. Um, so, no more assistance you use basically for the <coughs> parts that run down. Mm -hmm. But in general, I want to say like the forces that people use for hours should be possible. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of concludes the donning process. It's a bit faster than most of the systems. So um, yeah, on average. And so here we have like a remote control. So I am now officially bionic. <laughs> right. We allow people to basically choose um, their, let's say, configuration for each person. Yeah. And now what you will feel is that the system should pre-tension on you. Whoa, there it is. Exactly. Yeah, that's pre-tensioned. Exactly. So yeah. what that did is basically just measured your body for much and just made sure that it fits nice and tight on you. Yeah. And um, now you are in what we call transparency, sorry, transparency mode. We can also go for a quick walk, yeah. uh, which is where the system doesn't apply any forces to you, but it kind of shadows you walk. Right? So as you walk, it just um, the sense of read where your body is, you know, what kind of posture, your limb angles, and things like this. Right. Right. And then just um, kind of um, reels in the cable as I kind of call it, the tendon. Right. In and out so that it never really like tenses you up in that sense, so like the interface is nice and smooth, let's say. Yeah. Um, but just that you I mean, come back this way, so, so that you just feel the assistance a bit. I'm gonna lock you in place, let's say. Yeah, first on the right leg. And then on the left leg. Oh, that's tightening me up. Yeah, I can yeah. reduce that a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I, I literally just kind of lock it in place. So yeah. what I, I would say is like try to kind of I'm try to fall. It, yeah, yeah, like sort of like relax into into and you can see that now the forces are basically there, right? So it's yeah. um, that's basically what, what how the assistance works is that it's pretty much just pulling the cable here up yeah. and it's straightening your leg. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going completely limp. <laughs> like I, yeah. if I did this without this suit on, I would probably fall on the floor. Right. Exactly. And so yeah. that exactly, exactly, exactly so what like, does it like supports your. Um, if, if somebody has muscle weakness. Oh yeah, I can feel it. So when I put a little bit of force in, it actually propels my leg forward. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what I can show you, so now it's basically at what we call an isometric mode, which is like where it's, it's really just locked in place. Yeah. Right? And so I will just gradually reduce the forces. Now what we can do is we can also provide the assistance such that when you take a step, it tenses up your leg. It provides right. your assistance in your what is called weight bearing, so your leg yeah. pretty much accepts the weight, and it provides you assistance and then you make a hip turn. Okay. And then as you're about to swing your leg, just it will release that leg, and you are able to swing it really. Okay. And if we just start just take a bit. Oh yeah. We can go into the corridor so we can take a few more seconds. So I'm trying to feel like I'm weak. Yeah. Helping me to straighten my leg. So you see, when, when you take a step, it applies the force, and when you release your leg, it basically removes that force, right? Yeah. So, so it's 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 always like this kind of yeah. um, difference between a stance and a swing, as they call it. As your leg is on the ground, we yeah. help it keep it straight. Yeah. 
and then as you're about to like move that leg forward with yeah. the release. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just go on the stage yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's um, just so this link. There's a set of stairs you can find over here. Okay. Down here, you, you stay up there, David. Okay, so we try and get the pencil. Just take this. Oh, yeah, it's it's yanking me up the stairs. I can feel it. I'm getting that extra. I can feel like really, really weak. If I go weak, it still propels me straight up the stairs. There we go. Oh, that's the weirdest thing. <laughs> so, like I said, it takes a, it takes a few, let's say, minutes to to learn how to rely yeah. on this thing and so on. Yeah. But um, what you have to always do is you have to trust the system is there yeah. and basically start relying on it more and more as you walk. You yeah. go for hikes like we do with some of our um, partners or you go even just for a training session if you yeah. therapy practice. And, and this <laughs> is genuinely serious engineering, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this is a serious engineer. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think so. <laughs> It pulls you up exactly yeah. Yeah. instead of like buckling. It prevents it from like the, the joints from collapsing. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So that's fantastic. Thank you very much for the demonstration. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. Thank um, you, David.